Hey everyone, and welcome back to another day in my life as a lead data scientist here in Sydney. In today's episode, I'll be sharing my advice for aspiring data analysts and scientists, my data science workflow, as well as some of the frustrations that I go through. In my last day in the life video, I mentioned the structure of my team and what exactly my role consists of, so make sure you check that out if you're interested. At this stage, caffeine is more of a dependency. I make an ice long black from my coffee machine every morning. Yes, I know, it needs a clean. I start my workday by messaging my team a one-line summary of what I'll be working on that day and also writing out a detailed to-do list. There are quite a few loose ends that I would really like to wrap up. I am currently at the tail end of a modeling project and thought that I would take some time to talk through my workflow. Each project usually takes around two to three months, but can go up to a year depending on the complexity. My workflow is split up into three main stages. Firstly, being the problem statement. Here I work with my business stakeholders to define a business problem. So what is it that I'm trying to solve or predict? Once I have this, I will turn this into a data problem and figure out what I need from a data perspective. Next, we move into execution. This is where the bulk of my time usually is, and I will spend time understanding what data sources I have access to, joining them together, and creating my variables in either SQL or Python. I also identify what it is that I would like to predict, and train and test my machine learning model, and work with the engineering team to get the model deployed in a real-time production environment. And lastly, we move into reporting. After the model has been running for a while, I will spend time ensuring it is actually performing as expected. This is also where I communicate the impact that this project has had on the business with my key stakeholders. My company is remote first, meaning that I work from home 100% of the time. Today is another quiet day for me and I'm jumping into a quick call on how I'm finding our new HR platform. Even for an introvert like me, some days can get very isolating when you speak with no one all day. I also don't move my body as much as I used to, so I make it a conscious effort to stand when I can, take breaks, and also check in with my colleagues. In terms of my work, I am building a model that measures customer engagement, and it's been a bit of a struggle to build a one-size-fits-all approach given every customer profile is so different. I've managed to come up with a personalized and slightly less robust approach, and I'm just finalizing my code and testing all the different edge cases. This definitely isn't the yummiest or the most appetizing or exciting lunch, but it's a really good way for me to just get my vegetables in. I've been trying to eat healthier this year, eat out less, exercise more, and get my vegetables into every meal. I realized that I really like rocket as a green. I like the bitterness and paired with that sesame dressing, it is so good. I have around 20 minutes before my 12.30 meeting, so I might just take some time to brainstorm what I'm going to say in my update. It is a fortnightly update where I meet some of my key stakeholders and I give them an update into what's been happening in the whole data area. So I'll just give an update on everything P&E related from what I know. I actually think that's all the updates I have on my end. I am a perfectionist and I triple check any of my code before handing it over. As I am now working for various clients, I've had to really accept that no data science model is ever a one-size-fits-all and that perfection is near impossible, and no one really expects it to be perfect. I also realize that I have been working full-time for over seven years now, and here are some things that I have learned the hard way. Stakeholders often have unrealistic expectations and it's super important to manage them. 
in most projects data is an afterthought and ad hoc data deliveries are expected to be quick and easy, which is so untrue because in reality the data is a mess. And secondly, a lot of data science projects just won't get implemented. Sometimes there is just no need for a complex model and it's best to keep the solution simple and intuitive. And other times, the path that you're testing out simply just doesn't work, and it's important to not get discouraged and know it's all part of the learning curve.